On this episode of Oz Off Road TV, I'm led by the boys from the Oz Off Road Workshop on a four wheel drive camping weekend west of the Blue Mountains where we'll tackle some tracks, see plenty of water, camp out at a top riverside camp spot, and I'll toss in a night at a very unique country pub that's located on a cherry farm. Yeah, g'day folks. Well, I'm out here at Penrith at Oz Off Road. This is where we're based here in Western Sydney. Now, we've been really busy here over the last 18 months, building four-wheel drive, setting people up to get out there, selling lots of camping gear and just basically living the adventure lifestyle. Well, as we keep telling you, the boys here at Oz Off Road, they are all keen campers and four-wheel drivers themselves. So I thought, well, they've been working pretty hard and doing a bit of overtime. Why not give them an early mark on a Friday and the whole lot of us will go out and explore a few tracks, sit around a couple of campfires, tell a few stories and have a few laughs as well. So come with us as we go over the Blue Mountains west of Sydney and go and see what's out there. Camping down on an old bush track A four-wheel drive, yeah, I like it like that The weekend comes and now it's time to go Oz off road, it's time for the show On this trip, I'm joined by my young bloke Robert, who is the manager of Oz Off Road, driving his Oz Off Road built Ford Ranger. Our workshop foreman Anthony, better known as T, has decided to be an offsider on this trip and has jumped in with the young bloke. Our senior four wheel drive accessory fitter Dazza is along for the ride in his Chopped 80 series, and capping off the convoy is the newest member of the Oz Off Road team, and that's Dale in his 79 Trayback. On this weekend warrior trip, we head off from Oz Off Road HQ at Penrith in Western Sydney, trek over the Blue Mountains, stop off at a country pub with a difference, go for a run along the Pinnacle Fire Trail that runs from Sunny Corner to Capity, and explore some tracks around Lithgow, ending up at the Lost City in the Blue Mountains. Now I did mention that we would spend the night at a country pub with a difference, so before I let the boys lead me astray in the bush, I thought I would surprise them by popping into a cherry farm that actually has its own par and bistro located amongst the cherry trees. The Ilford Valley Cherry Farm is located about 70 kilometres northwest of Lithgow at Ilford in toward the Mudgee region and sits on 100 acres surrounded by scenic hills and mountain ranges. You could almost be mistaken for thinking that you're in parts of the Flinders. In addition to the pub, there is a reception centre, perfect for weddings and parties, cabin accommodation and powered and non-powered campsites. The kangaroo population love this place, so don't be surprised if you find Skippy knocking on your front door of your caravan or tent just to say good day. Forget the pot of gold, out here you'll find the Cherry's Bar and Grill located right here at the end of the rainbow. How good is it? And I'm here with Jason, one of the owners of the uh, Ilford Valley Cherry Farm. Jace, how are you son? Welcome Duck. How good mate, is it? Absolutely and great to have you here. Thanks mate. Thanks for coming. Thanks for bringing the crew. You and your brother Rod and your wives bought a property next door here and just for a bit of a weekend hobby farm. And then this property came up for sale and you just bought it and it needed a little bit of work and a little bit of attention and uh, here we are. We, we probably owned next door for approximately 10 years and then we uh, came across this, the old owner, and we started frequenting and visit, visiting the place. And then uh, the opportunity came up to take it over. Um, we've incorporated also uh, Cherie's brother, Graham, who's our chef, um, along with um, Brett. Um, Graham's partner who's also awesome maintenance on the farm um, and together that I think we're kicking some goals mate yeah yeah absolutely and the place is just incredible if you, and look if you want to come and stay somewhere that's a bit different this is it. It, it it's the place is just immaculate and it's a farm stay with a bit of a difference because we normally talk about cattle stations and sheep stations but never about cherry farms I notice there's a lot of locals here but not just locals, but there are people here as far as way as Bathurst and, and even further in here tonight enjoying a meal. We, we've been pretty lucky um, with Graham being a chef. 
and uh, uh, the locals are enjoying it, which is good to see because uh, Ilford itself, where we are, is uh, not the biggest of towns. To uh, do what we're trying to do and diverse the business, not just from cherries, but have accommodation and to have uh, uh, the weddings, the function centres, music. Uh, you've been privileged to be one of our chefs, uh, our guest chefs at the cookout that we've had recently. So I wasn't a chef, but I was actually a judge. Sorry, mate. My but I am one of the great eaters. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I was a pretty good judge. Yeah, but at the end of the day, the potential here is enormous. And the, and the thing is, from what I can, from what I see, everybody talks about the Hunter Valley, they talk about Mudgy. Here's a little hidden secret right here, just out of Sydney, not far out of Lithgow, in fact, only about 70 k's. And this is as good as you'll get anywhere. Yeah, mate, no, so that's what I told you before. We're gonna be careful. We don't wanna tell too many people, <laughs> but we do. I know it's a double-edged sword, but uh, it's, 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 I think everyone who's come so far to visit us, um, they've returned, which is a good thing. The team at the Ilford Valley Cherry Farm are very friendly, so you can be sure to get the very best in-country hospitality when you visit here. Oh, by the way, here's a tip. If you call in to check this place out for yourself, why not try the Prawn Laguini? You won't be disappointed. After a big night in the bar and bistro and a few beers around our campfire, the following morning we agreed to do a sensational sunrise as the sun popped its head over the mountain ranges. It's in the middle of winter here right now and it gets icy cold out in these parts, so some sun is just what we need. Well, it's our first morning here. We've been camping out with the boys. Now, as you can see, it's not exactly summer weather here. It's pretty chilly. But some of the boys have been dragging the chain a bit. They had a bit of a big night last night. You might be wondering what I'm going to do with this. This is our alarm clock here when we go out with Oz off road. This is what we do. No, you've got to be kidding, haven't you? Not sure if he's alive. You alive in there, T? Okay. Now with everybody up and Adam, as well as T waking up from his coma, it's time for a bit of brekkie as we prepare to hit the road and head for some good tracks. Robert, we put, uh, you and Daz have come up with this uh, track today, which is why you're leading the charge, mate. Um, what are we here for? Uh, head them out around Turon River. It should be uh, yeah, a couple of big hills, a couple of big river crossings, and see what else we can find. You'd be excited, wouldn't you, Daz? You love this stuff. Oh, I certainly do, Duck. Absolutely thriving. Yeah, so me and Dale are take her, um, at the back here. You going back there, Dale? You all good, mate? Yeah, all good. Excited for the day. Yeah, I'd be nervous, mate, because that's what I am. Because, mate, Robert and Daz, they like the hardcore stuff, so we've got no idea what we're in for here, mate. I mean, how good are you going, T? You're just kicking back at the past and you see doing nothing. Yeah, mate, this is a life being shaped around by Rob here. I think I may have just woken T up from his little snooze. He might think it's good getting chauffeured around now, but I reckon he'll be sorry he didn't bring his old 40 series out here just for a dance. What are you going down to, Rob? Uh, I'll drop them down to 20. There's been a bit of rain around, so it's been a little bit muddy. While the boys are checking their air pressures, I think I might get on to some more important jobs. What are we up to, Duck? Mate, we're getting a bit of lunch ready. Then we're going to have a sausage sizzle while we're driving, right? Sausage and onion sangers for lunch, mate, all done in the travel buddy. What's six times two? I'm a cameraman, not a mathematician. Fair enough. We're going to pop her in the travel buddy. Looks like there's a bit of water around already on this track. This has had a bit of rain out here. It's going to be a pretty muddy day by the look of it. There's 
definitely a bit of water lying around. Good job for you on Monday, Dale. You can wash all our cars. Take all day, I reckon. Gee, we're only just getting started, but by the look of this, Dale could be on the pressure washer for two or three days. It could be a bit of a wet and slippery day today, there, Daz. Oh, it possibly could, especially with some of these hills being clay base. Starting to get a little bit interesting here, boys. Bit of a little creek crossing and a bit of a hill climb out of it. All part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's about to get interesting. Looking in full drive, probably a good idea. Yeah, good one, son. You're supposed to be leading the charge here, mate. The hill definitely has a bit of steepness to it. After dusting off the old soft floor camper to add just a bit more size, it's time to bring the ram through. With the ram being bigger and a trailer in tow, I'll give myself some room and let the torque do the rest. Gee, I love the power of this thing. As we've said many times, the staff at Oz Off Road are experienced four-wheel drivers themselves, and you can see why Dale fits straight in. He's absolutely loving it, and I don't think this is his first four-wheel drive trip either. He looks right at home. Let's see how far we can get two-wheel drive, you reckon? Why not? <laughs> it looks like this track's got a fair climb ahead of it. Might be best to stick her into four-wheel drive, son. A little bit shaly up here, boys. I'd be keeping the momentum up. A bit stupid than it looks too. Yeah, and it just keeps on going. Test out for the ram, mate. Hey, this is the spot. This is good here. Sunny Corner State Forest is located only half an hour from Bathurst and is known for its rough four-wheel drive tracks but does have a history of gold and silver mining. There is a recreation reserve that is accessible for two-wheel drive vehicles and can also be accessed by caravans when the weather is good. For us though, we'll skip the reserve, we'll do the rough tracks as we make our way into the Two on River National Park which has a stack of tracks and campgrounds and it's hard to believe that this beautiful part of the world is only 150 k's west of Sydney. I think I broke the highlights. Well, it looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, lucky we're travelling with like poor mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Gav in our camera car has some sort of electrical drama. What have you done, mate? What are you doing, Dad? Oh, just running through some fuses. Lucky for us, we have four qualified blokes with us, and between them we have a diesel mechanic, an auto electrical trade, as well as a fabricator, just in case we have to rebuild the thing. All jokes aside, though, we are lucky as we don't want to have to tow this thing out of here. Let's hope the boys can get it sorted. Mate, you've got the full workshop crew working on this thing. You um, you can't give me anything. I lose handhelds, you give me a car. I know. I it. I mean, this is, you're becoming expensive and high maintenance. Uh, we got come up with a PO705 DTC code. It brings up a transmission shift issue. Let's erase that. Lucky we brought the scanner tool with us. Let's hope we can clear the code for now and have a closer look at it once we get it back to the workshop in a couple of days. Is it that easy being a mechanic? I wish. <laughs> Going down, T. Yeah, mate. Uh, heading back down there. Fair dinkum. Riveting conversation by the boys up front. How's this, eh? It's nice down here, eh? Yeah. Oh, it was Pretty specky through there, boys. With a lot of rain in recent times, all creeks are full and lead to the Turon River that we'll cross later in the day. 
If the creeks are anything to go by, there should be plenty of water flowing in the river when we get there. Bogle and a big hill coming up here, boys. That's what we like to hear. It's going to be a bit of a test. It looks pretty steep to me. OK, son, you're up. You've done a lot harder than this. Best not to embarrass yourself here, mate. Oh, he's made it look like a Sunday drive. Now, Dazza has a go in the big 80. Come on, Daz. You can at least crack it for a smile. We know you love this stuff. Ram will sound good going up it. Yeah, it's it, Dale. You're getting the, uh, the full volume back there, aren't you? Yeah, that's great. A little muddy water down the bottom, too, so just to get your tyres nice and wet and slippery for this hill. And the hill's quite slippery once it's wet. You're not wrong, Daz, but even pulling the trailer, it looks like the Ram also eats hills for breakfast. And last but not least, it's Dale with a very concentrated look on his face. He makes it look like a walk in the park, though. Oh, no. What's he done now? I broke it again. What's going on, Gav? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it locks the water at the moment. Nah. Gee, these blokes will be filling out an overtime sheet if this keeps happening. Oh, what did we just do? Come up in nothing. What did you find? Oh, a little bit of a wire that could have been crushed. Could be onto something here. Yeah, I've got a, a positive wire rubbed through here. But more than likely, earthing out on the trundle tray. One broken wire. Then we'll do a trackside patch up here while we can and get it moving again and fix it up later on. It moves. That's the starter, isn't it? After some makeshift repairs, we're soon on the move again. For how long, who actually knows? It is. Well, a bit wait, it's all. A little bit of a challenging spot. It's all going on here. Gets pretty interesting up here, boys. Big, big rock step into the river. Track just keeps giving. You know, constant. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> She's going. Oh. Oh, yeah. Pretty specky down here. Yeah, yeah, Beautiful down here. Yeah. Who would think that only a couple of hours out of Sydney, you can be driving along tracks that run along the riverbed in spots like this? Righto, Dazza, your turn. Watch your step, mate. When driving this sort of terrain, wheel placement is very important and Dazza shows off his experience and gets it right the first time. Oh, hang on, he's almost cracked it for a smile as well. And I'll tell you what boys, as I picked a pretty good track here, this looks pretty exciting. Okay, my turn to bring the ram down here with the trailer on. Should be interesting, and I don't want to embarrass myself in front of the boys, so best I just ride with it, I think. Yeah, 
Maybe it's fast. Don't talk too soon, Dale. Getting up the other side of this river could be a bit of a challenge. All going on out of here, a bit of a rock step and a bit rutted and all sorts going on. It's a little bit wild. Daz looks like a kid in a lolly shop as he steps his way out of the river. That was a kid. Got one, didn't it? I've got to tell you, boys, it's a tight team for the ram. Forget the trailer. With no room to bring the ram round, there could be a bit of a problem here. It looks as though the size of the ram has finally got me, and there is not enough room to get around this tight turn. I've also got the camper trailer on as well, so this will be a little bit different. Let's go back a little bit. Whoop. We have to give it a bit for there, pop it up. Go like this thing, eh? If I got a Rand Dale, you should do this with your eyes closed, son. And with that, we are all out of the river. With the day getting away from us, it's time to look for a campsite for the night, light a campfire and cook a feed. But before we do all of that, we still have a few challenges ahead. You got me headed to the left, headed to the right. Like in here, T. How are you taking the bonus line? Yeah. <laughs> We're up here. We're up. Uh, here's a tip for you folks, thumbs out of the steering wheel. That was time. Oh, oh, oh. That was time. <laughs> this is the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought I was pucking up then, T. Yeah. I must admit, I was... <laughs> I have a big lift, right? <laughs> I got a bit nervous. First one. <laughs> here's Daz flexing his muscles on his 80. Not a bad suspension test either. Gee, you gotta love the sound of those big V8s. You got me dizzy, 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 dizzy on my feet. From memory, this puddle has got a bit of depth to it. Not far from camp, so I really don't feel like getting bogged. So, see how we go. The window's up, T. Go, go, go. I'll tell you what, boys, you've done all right. You've had a pretty good time. <laughs> yeah, no, she's deep. She's deep. <laughs> don't go quite as quick as I did. Here we go. I thought you said it was deep. Haven't you blokes heard the saying, like a duck to water? <laughs> the duck. Woo, that was fun. Well, after a big day on the tracks that started way back at the cherry farm, it's great to be sitting around the campfire and washing down the day with a few cold ones. Nothing beats kicking around camp after a big day. This beats the workshop, eh boys? The best thing is, we have to do it all again tomorrow. This is just how we roll, mate. The Oz off road lifestyle, mate. But we've done the right thing with a couple of veggies on. We've spent a bit of a steak and beer weekend, but uh, it's all good.
Yeah, boys, that wasn't a bad campsite last night. On by that river, we did all right in the dark. It looked better in the daylight, but hey. Yeah, no, it was pretty pretty special to wake up to. Mate, how good was that fire that Dazza got going? You're our new fireman, Daz. Oh, I love a good fire. Anyhow, a little bit of water to navigate here. Uh, what's, the, what's the go today, Robert? Where are we off to, mate? Uh, so we've got a few little river crossings ahead of us this morning, and then um, I think Daz has got a pretty special little lookout planned for us to go and have a look at. I'm not sure how tea is this morning. He looked like he had an autopsy when he woke up. Yeah, mate, I had a few, but I feel all right. Even a pig knows when it's full tea, okay? Well, we all love a good water crossing, and I wasn't wrong about the river water levels out here since the rain. It doesn't get much better than this. Nice and easy, with the perfect amount of water, she's nature's at its best. We're going swimming again, T? Yeah. Hey. Tell you what, Rob, these river crossings are something else. I love them, Good to see you agree with me, boys. Although I'm not sure if Dale can see where he's going looking through those welding goggles. I did mention that we had a fabricator travelling with us, didn't I? We might have to rename him Hollywood Dale. Yeah, we're getting the dirt again up here. Um, yeah, go see what tracks we can find around Lithgow. Sounds good. I'll give it to you, Blake. You put on a pretty good trip this weekend. Yeah, mix it up a bit, a bit of everything. With a few customers counting on us back at Oz Off-Road tomorrow, it's a real shame that we don't have as much time today to explore a few more tracks. There is one place you want to get to though that will be harder to get to in the not too distant future with planned four wheel drive access changes coming soon all around Lithgow. Yeah hey boys, this track up here will take us out to the Lost City. Um, should be some pretty good views out there. It's a pretty popular spot up here. The Lost City isn't actually a real city, but is a row of rock formations that are located just out of Lithgow. Surrounded by an abundance of four-wheel drive tracks, it has been a very popular destination for four-wheel drive goers for many years, with other attractions in the area, such as the Glowworm Tunnel, the Blackfellas Hand Track and the Zigzag Railway. The rocks are starting to get a bit bigger down here, boys. What have I hit there, Dale, behind me, mate? Yeah, you're up. Here you go. Gonna miss that tree or not? Yeah, you're over it. Pretty um, adventurous down this little part here, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Yeah, I'm not sure whether I, I heard a bit of a bang there. I think I might have clipped that tree, eh? Ah, oh, Dazza. Always looking for the harder way to go. I think I might just slip through this way, though, Daz. A bit of a mud hole here, Rob. Uh, it looks a little bit suspect. It does. Maybe just let me go through here, boys. Uh, looks like a bit of a deep one. Second gear low T and um, go, go, go. fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty deep, but um, well, it's got a pretty good bottom on it. He's, he should be all right. I don't think you'll have to worry about the depth, Daz, with a suspension lift that big. Well, what a way to end a top weekend away with the boys who work at Oz Off-Road looking over the views of the Lost City. It has always been one of those locations that many people like to tick off the bucket list and if you're wondering how it was named, well, I can tell you that an old mate of mine, Vic Widman from Great Divide Tours, actually gave it the name when he stumbled across this unique rock formation many years ago.
And with that, it's a wrap on our 2023 series of Oz Off Road TV. Over the last few months, we've taken you on a North Queensland dirt road pub crawl, taken a run out to the Big Red Bash in Birdsville, a quick drive down the Birdsville track to the Flinders Ranges, where we tackled Sky Trek, and we even did a run down the River Murray to McCabe Corner. 2024 is going to be huge with planned trips all over Australia, including a trip back up to North Queensland, a big run through the Northern Territory that includes a top end pub crawl. We'll explore WA and a whole lot more, so be sure to subscribe to Oz Off Road TV. Oh, hang on. I did say way back at the start of this episode that Robert and Dazza love hitting the hard stuff. It looks like they might have snuck off while Hollywood was washing our cars. This is proper cop truck stuff. Yeah. Let's see how we go. Testing the Ranger. Uh, here we go. That big drop down there. If you're right over here, how are you feeling? Yeah, no, you're, you're a bit closer to it. There you go. <laughs> loves it. It loves it. Big wheel in. <laughs> Remember, at Oz Off Road, we not only build your four-wheel drive for tracks, travel and touring, we also stock a huge range of our very own off-road caravans, as well as a huge range of camping gear. You can shop in store or online at ozoffroad.com.au, so be sure to check it out. Sound for the show!